Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nerly, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure you subscribe and like this video and that you also comment below. I want to know what you guys are thinking and um, your opinions about the topic that we are talking about today. So on Instagram, I did post a question and the question was, would you marry yourself? So I got a couple of different responses and I just wanted to discuss it with you guys today and, you know, see what you guys are thinking. I started posting about, you know, relationships. The question that came to mind was, would you marry yourself? So it came to my mind. So I was just like, let me ask the people, you know, let me ask the people what they think. Some of the responses that I got was, yes, you know, I would marry myself. The reasons why um, some people said is because they see the qualities that um, they want in an individual in themselves. So they would want to marry themselves because they see those qualities in themselves and they realize, you know, like, yes, um, I'm going to make mistakes and I'm not the perfect person. But um, in general, I have some of those qualities that I am looking for. So yes, I would marry myself. Another response I got was it depends on the day. And I was thinking like, ooh, that's good. Cause you know, sometimes, um, you know, there's good days and bad days. So yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, you may be thinking like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a good pick out here. You know, I'm a good pick. And then there's some other days where it's just like, oh, I need to work on this. Like, ooh, you know? Um, so you can already see from the different responses. Like one is thinking, I see my faults, but I also see my great qualities that I do have. And then the other um, response was, you know, it just depends because sometimes um, I feel like those faults and those mistakes can um, outweigh those qualities, those good qualities that I have. And then the other response was just like, no, like I wouldn't marry myself. And this can really just depend on different things. Like for some people, they may say no because of insecurities, like as far as themselves, they see that no, I may not be a good pick for anybody. You know, or for some people, it may be like, you know, they don't even see themselves being married. So they wouldn't marry themselves. Basically, they will, you know, be by themselves, but they wouldn't marry themselves because they don't even want to be a part of the institution of marriage, basically, which is fine because there's some people who are just not meant to be married and don't want to be married for them. I could understand why they would say no. And then. There are some people that may say no because they don't feel like they're worthy enough, really. Or they don't feel like they meet the standards of being married. So the other question that came to mind for those people were like, why wouldn't you marry yourself? Because if you don't feel like you meet the standards or of someone that you would um, want to marry, right? Then what makes you ready for marriage? Or what are the qualities that um, you feel like you don't possess that you would want in a partner? How, how can we even know that we're ready for marriage, right? Because... There are so many different circumstances and situations that people have where, you know, people thought that, you know, they were way too young, but then their marriages last a lifetime, you know, or it was still like not financially stable, even if, even when they waited to get financially stable, you know? So those are those instances like, okay, so what really makes you ready? And when I was talking to my friend, you know, what came to mind was that when we're in God's will, no matter if we think that we're ready or not, like when God says that it's time, like 
it's time <laughs> you know when there is this um peace and this understanding where um this is bigger than ourselves and this is not even something that we necessarily need right um but because god has a bigger plan for our life he needs this marriage to work and this marriage to be formed so that the rest of the path or the rest of the destiny and will that he has for us and the people around us is fulfilled. So this institution of marriage, it's a ministry also at, of marriage. Now, the thing is, is that of course he wouldn't like want you, to force you to do anything. But when we are, I guess, trying to battle and weigh you know like am i ready am i not ready you know the ultimate uh conclusion is that if, are we in the will of god when we are doing this are we in the will of god uh, moving forward into this marriage you know um thinking about this engagement thinking about our marriage in the future like are we in the will of god like we can move forward in this and we can make the decision based on the fact that we know that God is for us and that he's with us in this relationship. There are couples that have been married, well, couples that have gotten married young, they weren't financially stable, they weren't, you know, in their careers and they weren't, you know, uh, I guess, supported in this marriage. They got married anyway and like five years later, they do have the house, they do have the car, they do have everything that other people have right now, but they still think that they're not ready for marriage you get what i'm saying so different circumstances different situations um can be in between that but were they still in the will of god even though they got married young it's food for thought you know i was just i was just thinking about you know like what makes you ready you know what um really qualifies you as ready um for those people who did say no and because their reason is like they're not ready and they're not uh they're not the best version of themselves um, at this moment. And I can understand that too, um, because we are constantly growing, constantly changing, constantly, you know, um, evolving into the men and women of God that we've been called to be, then the version of ourselves that we are now is not even the version of ourselves that we will be in the future. That's what I was thinking about when that answer came to mind, like, because I'm not the best version of myself now, you know, because we're constantly changing. So obviously we would want to be at, in a good state, it's a good state of mind, a good state of heart. Um, but because we're constantly changing, that can't only be the, um, the only thing that uh, we look for when we make those decisions, you know, because you're always going to be changing and developing into the best person that you are called to be. I think that what we can get from this question is understanding who we are, like being aware of who we are, because the question is, would you marry yourself? You would have to know yourself to even answer that question, right? Um, so awareness of who you are right um and then also thinking about what makes you ready and what's best for your relationship because you know every relationship is not the same that confirmation from god as well uh, thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys i love that you guys keep coming back so again make sure you subscribe you like and that you comment below and stay tuned for the next video bye guys